Welcome, in front of me is a Zenfone 8 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So we're going to begin with the 120Hz refresh rate, which can be found under the display. And let's see, oh there we go, refresh rate. And from here you can check it to 120 and this will make basically the content look buttery smooth when you're scrolling through your phone. Now, next thing we're gonna go into is the uh, battery mode, which uh, I don't mean the power saving. Uh, this phone actually has the, well, almost the exactly same uh, battery modes as, for instance, the uh, gaming uh, Asus phone. So anyway, let's go into battery, and in here system mode. And as you can see, we have a couple for power saving ones. Uh, Advanced is one that will actually allow you to change a bunch, bunch of the settings so you can see thermal limit, CPU performance, GPU performance, uh, RAM performance and so on along with a bunch of different uh, things that will change how the device performs. Uh, now obviously uh, this looks more to be catering towards power saving rather than uh, doing anything else uh, but we do have the high performance mode. Now in this mode uh, the device basically goes into overdrive uh, it will consume more battery uh, you can also tap on the edit right here and see what will change so as you can see for instance display will be automatically set to uh, 120 hertz without any kind of uh, way to change it uh, then we have automatic automatically activate dual band wi-fi uh, you have a bunch of other options which you can toggle on or off if you don't like them i'm gonna go back to the normal one and go to the next option which is gonna be the simple animation speed now this can be found under the display again and let's look for there we go animation speed and you can see that by default it is set to 1 but you can make it way faster by setting it to 0.5 now you could go uh, a little bit insane and set it to completely off that will remove the animations but in my opinion the uh, 0.5 is a really good middle ground which shortens the animation by half of its duration uh, but still actually retains it. Now moving on to the next option that I'm going to show, it's going to be the status bar icons, uh, which allows you to remove all the unnecessary icons from here, assuming they're not uh, associated with uh, with the phone like notifications itself. So anyway, let's go into the system, nav not here. Uh, oh, there we go, status bar icons. And from here, you will find all the toggles that you can turn on or off. So as you can see, you can turn off battery. Uh, now let's just you can see that you can basically turn off almost everything. The only thing left is this uh, search engine se setting setup, which is visible right here. But once you deal with that and actually set it up because you can't get rid of it, uh, for some reason Android doesn't actually allow you to not set it up because reasons uh, but yeah once you get rid of this you can have just completely uh, clean uh, look here without any kind of information now this is a little bit excessive i would probably keep things like the battery and time like so um okay then i guess time is not being shown okay there we go it was just glitching a little bit so you can see Right now, this is probably the best case scenario. Now, anyway, moving on to the last option, it's gonna be the system navigation and changing the outdated buttons at the bottom to gesture navigation. So let's go to system navigation and simply check this on. As you can see, you have this tiny little bar right here. So the way it works is you swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to go to recent and swipe from sides to go back and both sides works. And additionally, I'll give you a little bit of a tip on how to use this correctly um, because you might sometimes encounter, uh, for instance, miss swipes. So when you're trying to go home, but it just, just swipes up the entire screen. To combat this, what you want to do is start the swipe off of the screen. So from the bezel upwards uh, and get onto the screen. And this will ensure that your gestures are almost always exclusively correct and recognized by the phone. 
So anyway, this will conclude all the tweaks and tricks I wanted to share, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.